Hey guys, Dean Cook Films, and today we have another video. And today we're doing another Mattel Jurassic World review. Today we're reviewing the Primal Attack Control and Conquer Carnotaurus. Yes, from Jurassic World Mattel line, obviously. So, we're going to start with the packaging here. So, <clears throat> we've done some Primal Attack figures on this channel already the Tarbosaurus and Cryolophosaurus. And the box is basically the same. It's just upscaled for the huge figure. So it's got a Jurassic World logo. And then it has this beautiful art in the background. It's a sunset or sunrise on Isla Nublar. Then we got this big old Primal Attack logo. Then we got the Carnotaurus snapping its neck. We got the Control and Conqueror. A bunch of languages. Carnotaurus. We got Owen looking at us with his weird eyes and blue for some reason. And this little tiny Mattel logo. I love that. On the back of the box. Got the Carnotaur snapping its neck again. And then snapping its neck again. And down here we just get to see the Circus Circus and Tarbosaurus. And up here, Dress World Facts app. And then all of this other information at the bottom and all over the place. Anyways, let's get this thing out of the packaging. Watch this. I'm going to use my epic muscles. Look, I'm already out of the packaging. So, to start, this is a huge figure. For some reason, for Primal Attack, they decided to make the Carnotaurus even bigger. And give us this huge, massive creature. And it can also slide around like the Tarbosaurus. But besides the point, it is large. Very large. But, in terms of paint scheme, it is different than the 2018 Carnotaurus. It is more of an orange with dark brown on the back here. It ends about halfway through the tail. And I guess you can say it starts at the nose here. And it actually has, there's an eye on this Carnotaurus. On the last Carnotaurus, there was just a black abyss. So it's nice that they gave us an eye. And for the inside of the mouth, it's this pink color that they usually use. On the underbelly, we have this gray color. Here's the fax app code. It'll focus. Not really, I'll just put a picture in here later. But... The paint scheme is probably my favorite part about this whole figure, because honestly, I do not like this figure too much, kind of, and I'll get to why in a bit. So, in terms of articulation and action features, um, the whole neck and head and tail are part of the action feature, we'll show that last, but uh, you can rear this guy. That was not supposed to happen, but yes, it would rear it up and it will make sound, but you can rear up this high and can go down like this if it was eating some porcel. And then the legs can go, they cannot go out for some reason. Uh, I don't think the legs, yeah, the legs can't individually, oh, individually. <laughs> individually articulate. As you can see, they're on the same exact joint. I don't know why they keep doing this. The thrash and throw had the same sort of action features and had separate articulating legs. But I guess you can't have that nice things. So the Carnotaurus has tiny arms, which could have been absorbed into the flesh. It could have. We're back after the phone died. So um, the arms can articulate. And now it's on to the action feature. Oh yeah, forgot you can you can't break this foot, but you, you can move this foot inwards just so they can fit it in the box. Um, there's like no articulation in this figure. So if you like articulation, get out of here. <laughs> basically, that's <laughs> what this figure's telling you. So on to the cool gimmick though, which is basically uh, thrash and throw Carnotaurus. So you can you can make them bite, and you can twist them around, so he's like, a thrashing through him. It's kinda cool, but, I don't know. Now, that's, uh, I like the roars, the roars are actually from the movie. And they're actually
obviously Carl Torres. But, yeah, that's some eating sounds. On to my problem. So you see this Carl Torres, now you see it bigger than T-Rex. <laughs> this thing is huge for no reason. That is, no. <clears throat> this is the Pachyrhinosaurus. It, no. No, this is this is not how things should be. Alright, back here I know you can move down. There's just a comparison with the old Carno. Holy gosh. The Carno originally was already huge. They just made it like an alpha. Yes, yeah, turned into giant. Look at the thickness of this boy. This thing is huge. I look pretty scary. Yeah, uh I do I like how the tails are the exact same size. Yeah, the though. tails are now. Well, that one's a little bit fatter. Though. Yeah, and the new one's thick. <laughs> um, Tarbosaurus, you know how it's like almost the size of Tyrannosaurus? It's like dwarfed by this thing. Yeah. Even worse. Um. Tyrannosaurus is smaller in terms of height. Well, if you move the uh, neck up, if you, if you move the neck to its proper pose, they're both You're like neck and neck, literally. The Carno's a bit taller. It's Still, just, it's just, it's just, no. Here's the main line scale Rex. Holy, God. this thing is nuts. It's like the height of a Tyrannosaurus. This is why I don't like it. Everything else is perfectly fine. The new paint scheme is nice. The action feature is nice. Here's the Spino. Its head reaches the height of its head. If you count the horns. But, um, yeah. I honestly do not like this figure. For its pure size. It is huge. Uh, the action feature is cool. Kind of. You can have them throw around the human. Wow. And then eat them. But, yeah, this is basically just Alpha Carnotaurus. So, if you're ever going to get this thing, just know that this thing is going to be massive. And way bigger than your old car. So, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye bye. Sorry, start. That would have been too long. What are you doing? He said, no. then you go. Oh my god, why do you keep doing that? Did you hit it again? You're so. I started the count.